Corrie Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. Having failed up my first attempt to paint the iceberg the day before, I got up real early the next morning. So early that Billy, our guide, was still asleep, so I decided to stay close to camp and just test the waters a little and start a small painting nearby. Having spent a couple of days at Billy's camp, I thought it'd be really cool to, to start a painting that incorporated his freighter canoe, as well as the camp itself, into one canvas. And the only way to do that would be to get out on the water. Martin was scheduled to be back in Kikatarjuak to catch a plane back home by about mid-morning. So this would be my last chance to try to get out by canoe to paint the iceberg. Fortunately, the conditions were perfect and gave me a chance at last to paddle up close and personal to an incredible, incredible huge piece of ice. Beautiful with its variety of colors and textures and forms, having traveled for hundreds of miles from far up in the Arctic to rest here, grounded close enough to shore that I could safely go explore and paint it. Well, finally got to start a little painting of the iceberg from the canoe. You never know how things are going to turn out sometimes. But uh, it's quite spectacular floating around there. A little eerie too when you pass over that ice. That iceberg is the one that flipped yesterday, so I was feeling a little more safe about doing that. But while out there the whole time, I kept hearing crunching noises in the distance, and I was waiting for that other one to go because it's just ice crunching. So anyhow, spectacular. It's great. <laughs> 